Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another City Skylines video. For today, I want to get into, I want to build a fully detailed high school with the new City Skylines content creator pack sports venues. So obviously a couple weeks ago, we had the new City Skylines sports venues come out and they had some amateur fields that you could use that would work perfectly with your City Skylines city. So for today, I want to get into building that fully detailed high school. And if you look on the screen in front of you, you can clearly see that we have a lot of red and we have a lot of demand for a high school. So that's why over here kind of set, it felt like a natural fit, to be honest with you, to put it here. And I kind of like the idea of the view of the Palm uh, Island in the background. So the very first thing I want to get into is the City Skyline Sports Venue. You can see in front of you, these are real sports venues, and this is not what we want. But you can see that the overall sports venues do look amazing, and they will look really nice in our city. But if you go to the parks and go to, over to Content Creator Pack, you can see that, hey, we have amateur fields that would fit perfectly in a high school, or heck, if you really want to, the City Skyline's um, you know college um, you, know, you could definitely do that and use the DLC But what we're gonna focus on is a few of these amateur fields So I live in the United States So if you ever look at a high school, I'd say the main three fields that you see are baseball soccer and American football or we'll just call it football in this case So we have our American football stadium. It looks really nice from the new content creator pack. Here is the Soccer field. Yeah, I'm called it soccer. I'm sorry if, if I offend anybody and then there is our amateur Baseball field. So we want to place these three fields Inside our high school area and kind of just squeeze them together. You know if you've ever looked at a High school in the United States. You're gonna see that they are very crammed together like there is limited space I'll try to put something on the screen in front of you just to show you like a typical high school in my area and like why they're so scrunched together. And I honestly don't think American high schools have the best layouts, but that's just me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by every American high school has a lot of these. Yeah, it's parking lot. So I'm gonna speed this up. All I'm doing is adding the parking lot and just the parking spots. I'm just trying to quickly do it. I know you guys have seen this like a thousand times, all right? So that's why I was just trying to speed this up. So while you're watching this quick speed up, hit that like button real quick and there we go. We're already done. As soon as you hit the like button, we already had a finished parking lot. So what we have to do next is we want to find the high school that we want to use. We don't want to use the generic high school. So I decided that this institute would be our best bet because you know, it's a different looking high school. It's not the same as just the generic you know, high school that you find. So basically, I just chose this high school because heck, it looked a little different. It looks a little bit modern and stuff like that. So this is where you guys are probably gonna kill me. So on the sides <laughs> of this high school, I do wanna add more parking. So the reason why my thought process behind this these parking lots are, by the way, these are from also the new content creator. Oh, this is, no, it's not from the content creator pack. It's from the update. The City Skylines Transport and Hub Update. Here are your generic parking lots. As you can see, I am having trouble snapping them in place. But going back to this parking lot, the reason why they're here is because there's oftentimes student parking, but then there's oftentimes parking for teachers. And that's why I put both of those parking lots from the new Transport and Hub Update. Because I just thought that they fit in really well there. And, you know, we're going to have cars parking there. So essentially... I was just trying to be cool and like again a lot of american high schools do have a ton of parking for students because americans we don't like riding the bus let's be honest here guys we don't like riding the bus and people will have their own forms of transportation so what we're doing next is after that is you're probably going to be sick of this but i do want to add another adjacent parking lot to that big one and the reason behind that is because well Again, we need as much parking as possible. But again, when you have fields and stuff like that, you know, you're going to have people come to your baseball games, your soccer games, your football games. They're also going to need parking. So now that we got that in place, we're starting to get our starting to build our high school up and finally starting to add the city skyline sports venue. So I have in mind the baseball field. Now you're going to be like, well, why? 
the baseball field of all things. So I chose the single amateur baseball field and I'm going to place it right here. And obviously guys, there's going to be more detailing and stuff like that as time goes on in this video. But what I found cool is look at the background. Like there's Palm Island. I just figured the outfield would look really cool. If you're just like a player or just a fan watching in the background, I thought that was just a cool view. And that's just me in the comment section below. Let me know. Do, do you like that view or do you like that angle? I'm not really sure, but I thought it was really cool. So in the next part of this build is I wanted to add an outfield fence. I'm not really sure why um, in the new update, they did not have a um, like an outfield fence. Basically um, in, in baseball, if you hit the ball over the fence, it is called a home run. Anyways, um, right now on the screen, I am speeding this up, but as you could see, um, I just wanted, I kept this in the video for me struggling. Cause I want to show like the fans be like, Hey, like sports monkey, like, what are you doing? But it did. I will say the move it tool did have a hard time grabbing onto these fences. Like, as you could see, we are just, we struggled a little bit. So I did, I did eventually get it, but they, that's as best as we can do for an outfield wall. I'm just letting you know that ahead of time. So now that we have the baseball field in place, we need to figure out what we're going to do next. So I feel like paths are definitely a way to go. Like, obviously we can't have, you know, traffic, you know, in, in a high school area, you know, in, in high school, there's, you know, people just park and they have to walk to the fields. I mean, I feel like everybody in high school had to do that. If you're not in high school, I'm assuming your future high school, well, you'll have to walk to your sporting events from the parking lot. I feel like that's really, really normal, but that's just me. Anyway, so now that we have our baseball field in place, uh, what I wanted to do next was I wanted to get the American football stadium. Now, in America, football, like American football, is the king of all sports. Like, if you want to be cool and popular and hip, and I never played football, so I was, I, apparently I'm not cool, and, you know, so whatever. Anyways. So what I wanted to do next is I wanted to place down the American football field. It's obviously a prominent part of any high school in America. So what I did was I wanted to kind of center it with the high school itself. Like we, I did the best I could doing that. So I felt overall pretty happy with the, where we put the American football field. So now that we have our American football field in place, what I wanted to do is I, I did want to do a little bit of detailing around here. So I'm going to speed this up so you guys don't have to see the full detailing. But what I wanted to do was I wanted to add some of the seaweed or bushes, you know, and shrubs and stuff like that and put rocks. So when you are building on the waterfront, you do not just want, you know, you, you don't just want your building or like in this case a football field you don't want it just there on the edge um if there's any waves or anything like that you it would severely destroy the high school and even the fields themselves so what i wanted to do was i wanted to add a barrier and that's what i did with all of the rocks and all of the big boulders then what i did on top of that i did add right now i'm trying to level out the land as best as possible because we want that shelf to kind of be up like kind of like how a um, beach is it's kind of just slanted essentially and uh, and I put more rocks as it is but for detailing any um, you know instead of using just a normal cue wall um, what I wanted to do was just I want to make it colorful you know add some color to this high school and add some of the trees and add some of the bushes and shrubs um, Con um, City Skylines Planner actually just did this a few days ago in his new video. Again, um, I've been doing it a lot too, but that's just a generic way to kind of detail your high school. So, so far we have two out of three of the City Skylines sports venues. And so far everything is looking good. Now this is the problem. So we, we're running out of space in this little area, as you can tell. So we have a dilemma. We have two different, you know, trying to, we can try to squeeze the soccer field in there, but like we have two different soccer fields. So I am going to place down, this is the community soccer field and it looks beautiful. I honestly like how there's parking, but we already have parking and I don't believe we actually need that full building. I know, I know it looks really cool, but in we couldn't I mean we could fit in there but I think it'd be a little too tight of a squeeze for my liking so 
the community oh it's just like ugh. like i try i could put it here but it's just just watch how this works it's just some of these look how awkwardly it is and i just did not like having it there it just did not feel like a good end piece and stuff like that so just something to keep in mind when you're playing um with the new city skyline sports venues is that you know what you might not want you know you can work with some of these venues some of them are bigger than others and that's just something to keep in mind so here's one of the problems with the new city skylines sports venue content creator pack you can't demolish it completely so what i did was i highlighted it with the move it tool and then i selected everything and then used the bulldozer so what did i just do with the last sports venue so what i did was i actually deleted that path and added a road like an actual road eventually ooh, that does that i will fix that later that little ooh, that does not you can see that the path went over the road and we'll fix that later I'm, I'm getting there guys i'm getting there so for a last venue we do want to grab the soccer field and let's you, we don't want the community one so we're going to grab the small soccer field and i feel like this is still okay to have this next to the highway i know that's a little weird but I have seen high school stadiums, um, you know, that actually do that. Um, well, high schools in general have been like up close to a highway, so I know that sounds weird, but in the United States, we do some weird things, just to let you know. So we, we do do some weird things, and anyways, so what we're gonna start to do over here is we are gonna start to detail and add more paths. So again, this is a high school, so, you know, we can add a few different paths from um, you know, just this part of our town, and then we can kind of move over it. Now, I will let you know that I'm trying to upgrade these uh, paths that were part of the new content creator pack, and you can't. So I'm just le letting you know that I fully am aware that we have two concrete paths, and that they don't—they <laughs> don't look good. And I would love to upgrade them to, um, you know, to do a dirt path but it's just not gonna work so the next part I wanted to do is I wanted to fill in this remaining area with like I tried a library a library did not fit and I was just trying to go over a few different things and what I noticed from the new city skylines miniature in Africa well that building did not work but we have two community schools that we could easily squeak under here so this could be used for storage i mean i'm not really sure what you could use those for i'm assuming store it just looks like storage i mean it doesn't really look like classrooms but you know overall i think these community schools do have a purpose and you know obviously they're elementary schools so honestly they, they're perfect i mean this is a high school area and then this is your elementary school area so for the city skylines miniature in africa i find i found that to be honestly really great so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna start the detailing up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm speeding this up to a little bit faster so you guys don't get bored and stuff like that. So what I decided to do was I wanted to fence this off. We know in America, high schools are getting a little bit dangerous. I know it's sad to say, but I'm not gonna get political or anything like that. But I, do, I did wanna add fences and stuff like that. So I wanted to add the fences all the way up to the front of the road. And as you can see, I'm stretching it over and just trying to make it feel like a safe, well not safe, I guess if you have fences like this, it's not really considered safe, it's kind of scary because, well, there's fences and you're hoping it's safe and stuff like that. But anyways, now that we have the fences in place, I love using these terrace, these planters to add color to your parking lot. And overall, like you can see that there's plants and stuff like that, like I think it looks, it just adds extra color and it takes away from the concrete itself. So overall, really, really, really nice start. I'm a big fan of that. Now that we have kind of our parking lots in place, what we're gonna do next is I wanna upgrade this road. I don't, I feel like the pavement, the concrete part of it is, it doesn't work. So what I did was I added a dirt path. That, that is a, not, it's not a dirt path, excuse me. It is a dirt road. But, you know, the dirt road works a lot better than, um, you know, that concrete path. So whatever, so far, so good i like where we're going with this and now what i want to do is i want to start detailing up this area so if you go to any high school stadium in america what you're going to see is a couple different things like i wanted to add kind of like a snack bar in the outfield because well it, it, people like to get food when they're at high school games so anyways i saw this diner 
The diner was way too big. Very cool diner, by the way, but just way too big for what we're looking for. But I wanted to put like a place where people can eat and drink. And so what I had in mind was the actual generic buildings from the City Skylines Park Life Parks. And what's really cool about these small buildings is that, you know, they work, they work perfectly for like small concession stands. And I think it's such a great idea to add these to this area because there is definitely when you, again, when you go to high school stadiums or high school places, like you're gonna see, you're gonna see this. So it's not like it's anything out of the ordinary where you see places to eat and go to the bathroom and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna single-handedly, yes, I free-handed adding these tiles to this area. And I know this is not gonna be in the outfield, but again, this is a high school stadium. Um, you know, there's other random things that we've seen in, in a high school stadium. So we eyeballed that. So what I'm gonna do next is add some of these buildings and overall, just, there you go. There's, oh, no, we, apparently we do not want to add the building, but now, we're gonna start to speed up this rendering real fast so you guys don't get bored. So let's get started with that. So let's speed this up. So we're going three times speed. So what I decided to do is I wanted to make it look detailed and pretty. So again, we added a couple of the snack stalls and a pop station. Then I added a few more of these planters where you could put trees. Ooh. Ooh, I forgot I did this. Wow, I'm doing a voiceover. Completely forgot that I used the new Plaza and Promenades ice cream shop. I really like that touch. Wow, sometimes when you, I'm gonna go off tangent here. Sometimes when you are building um, and I'm doing the voiceover, sometimes you forget what you actually do. So I, I like that move, Sports Monkey. So overall guys, this is the final result of our high school, detailed high school. And I feel like this turned out really okay. I did do something weird. I did add the climate station. Now I feel like it's okay because I feel like there, you know, some high schools do have sciencey stuff. You know, it's, it, it is okay to add this. I felt like, you know, it's my build, you know, I could do what I want. So I definitely added palm trees. I did add a basketball court in. And if you look over here, I did fill in this area with um, a statue, you know, so it's a park, so people will visit. So again, we have a re there, we have multiple reasons why people will actually park in these parking lots. We have our high school, we have our sports venues, and then we have our elementary school. So overall, I feel like this turned out really well. Like look at this, here's our team mascot and there is our background in our outfield. Amazing, like absolutely amazing. I love, love, love how this turned out and I couldn't have been happier with the way this looks. And obviously the palm trees are a really nice touch. I did add more, um, you know, we, we did have a dirt road over there. So I did add some city skylines, green cities, single tile um, or single, yeah, single, just some very small buildings. And I think that's cool. And you know, it'll de definitely bring people over here. So it's not like a dead areas, you know, I have paths and stuff like that, but I just wanted people to walk around the, these high school venues and I want it to be a lively area. Unfortunately, you know, these soccer venues and stuff like that, well, wait, I see I see somebody on our field. Okay, we have one person on our soccer field. Congrats, Sports Monkey. So overall though, guys, I feel like, you know, with these new buildings from the City Skylines sports venue, the City Skylines miniature in Africa buildings, I feel like this all came together and worked out really, really well. So guys, in the comment section below, what do you think of this detailed high school build? Are you happy that you're able to add sports venues and add different detailings into your city? Like you can see here, we have people already parking. I did add a water fountain. So like, you know, I tried to change it up. You know, it's not the same as every single little generic high school. You don't have to do this. You could just place down your generic high school and you don't have to detail. Like those pergolas and the, the sculpture, completely not necessary. But guys, please let me know in the comment section below. Did you like this build? Please hit that subscribe button if you are interested in um, just you know, watching this. And if you like the new content creator packs, thank you very much for watching. And look, we have 527 students using our high school race. So that's amazing. So it was perfectly placed in our city. So I'm very happy with all this. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.